Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Sean, and welcome to the Rust tutorial lesson two, English tutorial. I'm gonna teach you guys how to install and configure Rust environment. So let's Google Rust tutorials and click on and move on to the first one, installing configuring a Rust environment, and click on the Rust installation instructions. And we're gonna choose our platform. We're gonna and we will choose the Ubuntu. In the last tutorial, I have already told you guys how to use virtual machine to get Ubuntu. If you don't have that, please watch my last video. That's pretty easy. So let's move on to the Ubuntu. And before we install the Rust, we have to check our Ubuntu version because the uh, the Rust can only support the Ubuntu 15.10 and 16.04. Uh, I'm using the last version which is 16.04 and I'm good to go so we have to open our terminal or if you don't know where is the terminal you can use to search ter yes terminal here and put it on the right left side and put the website on the right side okay that's pretty good okay the first thing we're gonna do is just copy and paste it and enter our password and we also do the rest of this line do the same thing and sudo and get update well after finish those commands and the only thing you need to do here is only this line the desktop for install which means we can get everything we need to use in Rust. Okay, that's pretty good now. And just ignore it, this command. We're just scrolling down to the Rust tip. The Rust tip is uh, the very useful things which help you to build your dependencies. So, sudo Rust tip in it, and Rust tip update uh, it will take a little bit more time so just wait for a second well uh, after we initialize rust tip we're going to set up our environment here there's nothing response here so it's very uh, normally because we just add this line to the bash and source the bash Okay, so uh, we don't want to change the environment of kernel cell, so we don't need to do this line. And the last thing I'm gonna do is to go getting the Rust installation install. So copy and paste it as easy like as that. Okay, so far so good, and we have already installed our Rust. And back to the uh, the previous pages. We have to check our environment is set or not. So do this command print the grip Rust print environment. So uh, if you see the same thing with me, you are good to go. So uh, let's go and jump to the uh, the most important thing in this tutorial to create the Rust workspace. Uh, about this line, because we only have one Rust in distribution, so we don't need to do that. Okay. Create our Rust workspace. Uh, the first of all, we need to make our workspace directory and the source file. So the workspace means you can choose any name you want. I just use that name, Captain Workspace. You can use any names you wanted and the source. So let's go to the uh, Captain Workspace and source. So good to have felt a list and there's nothing in here. So we do this command cat king underline init underline workspace. This command will help us to create our to initialize to create an workspace. Well uh, if we list again it will we will have the C make list in the source file. So let's back to our parent directory, which is our workspace file, the Ketkin workspace, and this 
is only source file here. So we need to do the cat key make. The cat key make is the uh, the very very uh, useful command, and it will help us build our uh, pro project and workspace. So we will use this command very very frequently when we are doing our project. So let's enter this command. That's uh, pretty cool. So uh, here is the, everything about this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. It. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to navigate the Rust file system. See you next time. Peace.